teachers and my dear friends, I am going to show you my max activity. The activity's name is called seven digit expanded form model. Let's see friends, this is my activity. The activity is called seven digit expanded form model. So my sum is called 10,75,231. I am going to do the sum in the model. Ten lakh. See friends, this is the number. 10,75,231 We can go to the next sum The next sum is called Thank you. Hello students, welcome to the online EVS class. Today we are going to learn about the, the body system. In previous classes we learned about body parts, which, which perform a specific fu function in our body are called organ. Or, okay. Organ students which we can see or touch that called external organ and which we can't see and touch that called internal organ. Organ system A group of organs work together to perform a function in our body is called an organ system. In organ system as circuitry system, nerve system, respiratory system, digestive system, skeletal system and muscular system. Digestive system. Digestive system convert convert the food we, we will we eat into the nutrients and removes the waste from waste material from our body. Yeah. Students in digestive system main organs are mouth, so feathers, stomach, large intestine. Small intestine, large intestine, anus. So now we are going to learn about mouth. The first bite food with, with our mouth. This mouth has teeth, tongue, saliva. That helps that helps in the digestion of the of the food. We use our teeth to chew food and break it break it in down small small pieces. We use our tongue to move and around around and mix with saliva now students now we are going to learn about esophagus esophagus is a musculary hollow tube this is the esophagus hollow tube connecting the mouth and stomach it it is 25 cm in length and it carries and broken broken down food from the mouth to the stomach for digestion. Now, now we are going to study about stomach. Stomach is stomach is used to store the food that we eat. Food passing down from the use of feathers is it is further bro broken down the and makes it digestive juice as shown in the image this is students see this one this is the digestive juice students now this is the small intestine small intestine is a, a long thin, thin tube it is 6 meter in length it is it is the most important digestive organ organ all all the 
insufficient nutrients from the were absorbed in the blood to be sent to all parts of the body. This is the large intestine. Students, you see, now we are going to learn about large intestine. Large intestine is thick tube wrapping around the small intestine. The large intestine water is absorbed from the waste material and the waste material is passed towards the anus. Thank you, student. Goodbye. Happy learning. Hi, children. Today I am going to recite a poem which tells about how to be courageous and strong. How do you feel when no sunlight? Yes, it will be dark. How it will be when it is dark? You will be scared of. We will read this poem that nothing to be scared of. Don't be afraid of the dark. Written by Ruskin Bond. Don't be afraid of the dark, little one. The earth must rest when the day is done. The sun may be harsh, but moonlight never. And those stars will be shining forever and ever. Be friends when the night there is nothing to fear, but just let your thoughts travel to friends far and near. But this is the must seem that our troubles one sees. But a night, night let a night, the world is at peace. We should not be feared. For the night, because moonlight and stars are our friends. The sun, the sun may be harsh, harsh. Harsh means cruel, but moonlight will be cool and calm. So we should think about our friends, and the two are far away from us. Enjoying the moonlight, moonlight. In the day, the troubles will will be hard. These means stop, but late at high, the world it is at peace. Ho hope you enjoy the poem. Thank you. Care, care, kids take. Bye bye. Hi students, I am going to teach you personal pronouns. pronouns. In personal pronouns, we have subject pronouns and object pronouns. In subject pronouns, we have singular. The words using I, she, he and it. In plural, we have the words using we, you and they. Now, next one. In object pronouns. In object pronouns, we have singular. The words you sing in singular, me, you, her, him, and it. Now, next one. In plural, we have as, you, and them. First person. In first person, we have the, the person speaking, I, we, me, us, mine, ours. Now, next one. Second person. The person spoke spoken to you and yours. Now, what we learn, children? We learn personal pronouns. In personal pronouns, we have two types of pronouns. Are subject pronouns and object pronouns.